one of our favorite boondocking sites, Stewart's Point, which is on Lake Mead in Nevada. Yeah, it really is an incredible spot. There's so much room here and it's free boondocking and it's just right on the water. You get these gorgeous views looking out on the lake. Not every site has such amazing views, but it's really important to us, so we always try to finagle something kind of close to the shoreline. Yep. This time, it just so happened that one of our friends was already here camping on this beautiful peninsula, and we were able to squeeze in with her, but the weather has not cooperated. Yeah, it's been windy every day. And... Like gusts up to 40 miles an hour, like it is not pleasant to be outside. Yeah, so we've been holed up. All we've really done is go on dog walks and just kind of appreciate the beautiful views from inside the trailer. Yeah, actually there's been a family of burros that's come around almost every day, I think, and um, it's really fun to watch them, <laughs> yeah. including a little one. Just steps outside our door, so yeah, that's th definitely been fun. So the spot that we are in, um, we'll show you on the map, it's really beautiful and like one of the most scenic spots, but a little treacherous, definitely not good for big rigs. Our friend Carrie actually got her van stuck in the sand when she tried to swing too wide. Yeah, it's easy to get stuck um, even if you're being careful, so be extra careful and hopefully you won't. Scout your site if you plan to leave, you know, kind of the main hard-packed driving areas because it doesn't take much to get yourself into some trouble. Yeah. So, um, enjoy some scenic views mm -hmm. of this area and hopefully we can get a good weather window to actually go do something. Yeah, it's always fun to watch them. Well, they were uh, getting real feisty. <laughs> they were kind of kicking at each other even. All right, so tonight's meal, um, we are making homemade yumbles. If you're familiar with Eugene, Portland, Oregon, there's this restaurant chain called Cafe Yum, and it's kind of a rice and bean bowl with their amazing sauce called yum sauce. So we have made a version that's basically like a tahini dressing, 
but with a lot of extra lemon and added nutritional yeast. It's tangy. It's amazing. And so um, that's the meal. That's what we're having for dinner tonight. So these are the main toppings and our quote unquote yum sauce and some black beans and rice. Do you want me to eat a bite? Sure. I kind of want to stir it up. I know, yeah, you gotta stir it basically. It's just not as pretty then. No! <laughs> way more photogenic when things are separate. Mm. So good, right? Mm. <laughs> yeah, so I really love that. Some small hail on this side of the RV, but I mean it's still falling over here too, but <laughs> the skies are clear. It's so funny. Are you seeing this rainbow? Oh yeah, it looks amazing. Guys, we finally have a day without wind. No, maybe it's, there's like a little breeze you might hear on the microphone, but, uh, got some snow on these mountains last night. We had some lightning and thunder last night. I tried to catch some of it on video, but of course then it was done, but uh, still a little exciting. This is where our friend Carrie got stuck. She had kind of pulled wide over here. I don't even know if you can tell the size of this hole, but uh, our other friend Jessica had max tracks, so that really helped. course we are hooked up and rolling out and the sun has come out the wind is gone it's gorgeous out but uh, we have plans we are gonna go spend the next couple weeks in St. George with Brad's family I don't know if we'll film while we're there uh, so we might end up taking 
a week or two off if, uh, if I don't have enough content to sort of cover the gap. But in any case, uh, hope you've enjoyed some beautiful views of this area. We'll see you next time, guys. <laughs>